Today I'm going to give you five ideas on how to break from conventional wisdom and innovate more. Let's get started. Conventional wisdom is a major barrier to innovation that threatens companies everywhere. It's based on the assumption that what's worked in the past will continue working in the future, despite the fact that in a changing environment, that's unlikely to hold true. Just think of companies like Border Books, General Motors in 2009, Kmart, Sears, all these companies that have stuck to conventional wisdom and have gone bankruptcy and in the case of Kodak, gone through liquidations. And we can think of many other examples of organizations that do the same thing or have done the same thing and currently are doing the same thing. So what exactly can we do to fix this? In today's hyper-changing environment, global environment, what worked in the past often does not work now. Just think of all the changes that have occurred due to the internet or due to the use of cellular technology, cell phones, smartphones, and people doing more and more and more online. So you can't do the same things that used to make you successful without making some changes. And that's exactly what conventional wisdom does. It perpetuates that same mentality. And it's quite harmful. Why do people hold on to this conventional wisdom or the various examples of conventional wisdom better set? Well, one of the major reasons is because it's comfortable. It's something that they're used to. Everybody does it this way or we've always done it this way as, uh, as something that they can latch onto and make them feel secure. They're afraid of something different that they don't 100% understand. And despite the many examples of companies and organizations that have tried new things and have changed entire industries, and we can think of many examples, we can think of Apple, of course, that's the one that most people think about, but we can think about others like Southwest Airlines or Facebook, many other of the typical tech examples, but there are a lot of others too that are less known that you maybe are familiar with that if you do, please provide a comment below that are, are that have let go of this conventional wisdom and that's one of the main reasons they've been able to innovate so much. So that's what I want to talk about today is how can you go about innovating more in your organizations and the first step to do that is to break from conventional wisdom. Here's one statement that's 100% true. There can be no innovation without change because innovation is a change. It's an improvement. So if you don't make any changes, you will never get any improvement. And this is one of the things that's so simple to say, but very difficult for organizations and leaders and teams to get through. They want to keep on doing the same things, especially if they made them very successful in the past, especially if everyone else does it, especially if they've always been doing it. So change is a key thing that you have to be willing to take a risk on and even embrace because you can't get to innovation without it. Think about it this way. If companies don't innovate, their competitors probably will. And since competition is characterized by globalization, you, your competition could be somewhere that you don't even know across the world that you've never heard of. So you really have to be the company that's innovating before your competition. Out innovating what you did last week or last month or last year, whatever the case may be for your particular industry. So you have to be the one that innovates more and breaking away from that conventional wisdom is a big, big step in that direction. It's not everything, but it's a first really big step. Here's a perfect example of how this breaking from conventional wisdom works. Ted Turner, started CNN and he had no experience, no experience at all in broadcast news. And everybody in the industry said CNN was going to be a big failure. Who wants to watch news 24 hours a day? Usually you watch news at that time at the dinner hour from 6 to 6.30 or 6.30 to 7, something like that, from the three major networks in the United States, which is where CNN started. So everyone said it was going to be a disaster, and of course it turned out to be a big success. Most notably, the biggest jump towards the beginning to really major success was the first Gulf War around 1990-1991. So that proves that this idea of sticking with what you know and doing it over and over, despite there being a major change, CNN, is problematic. 
And eventually these companies finally realized that they had to have 24 hour news to compete with CNN because it was taking way, way too much of their business. Of course, people want to watch news as it's happening. They don't want to wait to see what already happened. They would much rather see things live. So CNN changed the entire news broadcast news industry by breaking from conventional wisdom. Of course, that's not the only reason why it was successful, but that without that, you never would have gotten started, right? So that's why it's so important this idea that I'm talking about today. Conventional wisdom that is talked about all over the place, business schools, CNBC, all over the place. You hear people hearing that companies should stick with what they know. And you hear this from really successful people sometimes. Stick with what you know. Only invest with companies that do the same thing over and over again. Despite that, some of the most successful companies are the ones that do the opposite. And we'll go to the most common example of this, Apple. Apple, which knew nothing about cell phone or telephone, uh, cell phone production or MP3s when they first started the, the iPod. All of these types of things were new, totally new. And the reason why is you had unconventional leader. Unconventional leader, not gonna pay attention to unconventional wisdom. Not gonna focus on having market research tell him what kind of new products to create. So that's why the iPhone was produced. Totally different, nobody said that they wanted an iPhone. And look how it has revolutionized the world, really in terms of not only that product, but all the competitors, the, the Android products and all the other smartphones that were developed as a result of the iPhone. And of course, the iPhone was not based on all innovations that Apple came up with. It was based on a whole bunch of other things that were put together, pre-existing things put together into a unique product. So you don't have to reinvent everything to be innovative, but you do have to break away from this conventional thinking. And you don't have to be a Steve Jobs. You, I know people use this example a lot as a really good example, but it's the, the extreme example. You can still innovate quite a bit more without being as unconventional as Steve Jobs. Of course, it would be better if you moved as close as possible in that direction, but you don't have to be to at, at that extreme to, to get significant benefits in terms of increased innovation by breaking from conventional wisdom. So really, breaking from conventional wisdom requires leadership. It's unlikely that it's if you have a really, really conservative organization that from the bottom, you're gonna become an unconventional organization. It has to come from the top. The more hierarchical and the more bureaucratic, the more important it is for it to come from the top. So someone at the CEO level or C-level executive would have to really be leading the effort to change the culture. And there's a really good book that I mentioned in my in the description below, Elephants, Who Says Elephants Can't Dance by a guy named Lou Gerstner who was CEO of IBM when it needed to have a big change and needed to break from its own self-imposed conventional wisdom and also a lot of the conventional wisdom from the industry as well. So now come the five tips on what you can do to break from conventional wisdom. Okay, so item number one is set the example. You as a leader by questioning everything in your organization, especially those things that have that are taken for granted, things that you've done for a really long time that have made you successful in the past. Will they make you successful in the future? Could they actually make you fail as an organization in the future? Anything that is that could show that this is the new norm, that you as the leader are setting the tone. So set the tone for your organization. Item number two, make it clear that anything, anything in the organization is subject to discussion. We can talk about anything and to reconsider anything in the organization so that now becomes a norm. So let's say dress codes, for example. Why does everyone have to wear a suit and tie? It doesn't make you more innovative. It doesn't make you professional, that's for sure. Or work schedules or promotion methods. Anything in your organization is subject for discussion and possible change. Again, set, setting that type of situation where 
this becomes part of the culture and if the if it's if it's a norm within the culture then you get that behavior on a consistent automatic basis that's the beauty of making this part of your culture this unconventional thinking breaking from conventional thinking at least break from conventional thinking maybe you won't get too unconventional you would want to but at least break from conventional wisdom item number three is encourage people in your organization at all levels in the organization to look for great ideas outside of your industry oftentimes those are the best ideas you see new ideas of, of companies that come up with a totally new idea oftentimes they're not really totally new they're just new for that particular industry so for example Netflix streaming videos online that had actually been done before it just hadn't been done on that scale on a subscription basis with their original content some of those things had already been done in other areas subscriptions well there have been subscriptions for a long time with magazines so that's some uh, one example there are many others that we can think of if you have some other examples please leave those in the comments below but look for ideas outside of your industry outside of your norm in fact even outside of your own country one of the great things about traveling and living overseas for me at least is I've been able to see a lot of things that are great ideas done in other countries that could be successful here just think about this if you could go back in time 30 years ago could you have predicted that so many people would eat sushi raw fish in the United States crazy now sushi restaurants are all over the place so that's a good example of a, of a of an innovative idea that's not innovative in the home country Japan at least not recently but it's certainly innovative here and totally new item number four is hire unconventional thinkers and encourage them encourage them to challenge the things that are done and replace those with innovative ideas now oftentimes it's hard to find these people you can't find them using the same old methods that you use now probably the college degree the resume the certain amount of experience none of that stuff is reliably effective or consistently effective to find unconventional people you got to look in, in different places you got to use different methods you got to get rid of this idea that experience is the only way you can choose people oftentimes the most imaginative the people who come up with the greatest new ideas are people who have absolutely zero experience so you want to find people like that and keep them so you got to create this organization that they're gonna fit it doesn't make sense to just find unconventional people and stick them in a conventional organization and think they're gonna have an effect the organization is gonna just suppress that type of that type of thinking and type of behaviors that they that they exhibit so find those unconventional thinkers and then create an environment by doing some of the things I mentioned earlier the, the previous points and there are further ideas in my book which is linked in the description below and number five recognize not necessarily praise those are different things but recognize people for doing things that break from conventional wisdom within your organization's culture what's been normal going on for a long long time and things that are different from your industry different from what's normal in your industry or even what's different from your country especially when these things don't work out when you try something new and it doesn't work out that is not a mistake that is not a failure that is learning and oftentimes when you make these things when you try new things and they don't work out it leads to something great even if that first thing wasn't just as a success it didn't work but you learned a lot from that one thing that did not work that's learning and you want to recognize that thank the person point out how that's consistent with what you're looking for how it's advancing the organization do it in a public way that kind of a thing so really really important to do these five steps because these five things can help you survive and thrive in a fast changing global environment instead of doing what your competitors do or what you've always done which might not work in the future 
Breaking from conventional wisdom, thinking outside the box and innovating could be the secret to your success. Do you have questions or comments about this video or ideas for new videos? Leave a comment below. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe button and check out my book in the link below. Thanks a lot. Bye.